kind of wandered into the woods. I hope there's no wild animals. That's the only thing I'm worried about. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob, and this is On The Cheap Tip. For those of you who are new here, I'm the guy who tries diet and fitness challenges to see if they actually work. And recently I took a poll on YouTube asking you what you would like to see from me next, and you voted for 20,000 steps a day for seven days. That's a lot of steps. Now this original idea stemmed a few months ago when I was taking a vacation in Disney World and realized I was doing about 14 to 19,000 steps a day in the park. And believe me, my body felt it. I almost needed a vacation from my vacation. And that was only for a few days. So imagine if I did this longer, I wouldn't mind burning a few calories. I will admit, I have been struggling to keep myself on track. And recently I was sent the Dara scale from Fit Track. Basically, they saw that I was doing this challenge and they wanted to help me out because Dara not only takes your body metrics on the scale, but it also connects to your smartphone via Bluetooth to keep track of your weight loss, nutrition, and daily activity, including steps and distance. That's what we need. There is even fitness classes on the app. Dara is going to help keep me accountable because I'm able to see how my actions make a difference in real time. There's no escape in that. And since Dara is always with me, I can measure myself wherever I am. If you're interested in Dara, it is now 50% off on the website and you can get an additional 20% off when you use my code, which I will link in the description box along with their website for you to check it out. Right now I'm weighing about 169 pounds. Yes, that is probably the most I've weighed in a very long time. And my waist is measuring 36 and a half inches. My goal is really to get to 150 pounds before summer starts, so we better get the step in. Let's go. Good morning, it is day one, and I'm about to start my 20,000 steps a day challenge. God help me. Now I will say I've already did about 500 to 600 steps just walking around in my apartment, which is building my confidence that I'm gonna probably be able to do a lot of steps when I'm out in the real world. I do have a fitness and dance class that I have to teach today, which I think is going to give me the bulk of my steps, but to ensure that I get enough steps, I'm gonna go out and walk this morning around the area, and hopefully I can get a couple thousand steps in, maybe even 5,000, that would be great. 10 would probably be the best, but we're starting off small here, guys. <laughs> So I just walked from my boyfriend's house to a park that he has by him. And I will tell you, it is not close. I had to take my jacket off, I'm sweating so much. The only thing is that I don't really know this park too well, so I'm hoping I don't get lost. I'm thinking by the end of this, I'll have a really good amount of steps in because this is a journey. Hello. I'm really being lazy this morning, but I don't think I'm really being lazy because I'm just really tired. <laughs> I need to get up and start walking. <sighs> Who decided to do this? All right, so it's day two and I am in a different park today. It was a struggle bus, that's for sure. The one thing I did realize about yesterday is my sneakers were not quite the best thing to walk in for about an hour and a half. And I thought I put better sneakers on today, but these are not doing it, but they are cute. Okay, just sitting down having a little ham and cheesy sandwich. I wanted to mention that I'm not gonna be really showing my meals because it's really not about the meals. I don't tend to really overeat every day. Well, I do tend to overeat, that's why I'm here. Let's get real. I don't tend to eat too badly 
to be honest, the problem is, is that I overindulge. So I think this week I'm just gonna try to like even that out by not overindulging. This is my first meal. So this will give me the carbs and the protein and whatever I need. Why am I going on a rampage? I'm not talking about my food and I'm yet I'm talking about the food. Okay, just saying, this is not about food. <laughs> Let's go back again. This is not about food. This is really more about the walking. So I wanted to see if I could just incorporate walking to lose weight rather than change my diet. The editing for this is gonna be fun. All right, so I have a little bit of a dilemma. I finished pretty much my day and I only reached about 17,000. It's late, I just got back from work. I thought I was gonna hit my 20,000 mark, but I'm just not quite hitting it. Maybe I need to just go for like a little night walk scary out there. Turn down like a little side street where it's a little more neighborhoody. I'm not like worried about like being robbed or something. I'm more worried about like people thinking that I'm a hoodlum and I'm like, hi, I'm just an adult gay male. Not at all a threat. All right, it is day three, and today's weather is a little rainy, as you can tell from my windshield. It's not the best weather to be walking outside. So a friend of mine actually suggested, why don't you go for a walk in the mall? And I said, well, that could be dangerous because I'll probably buy a lot of stuff that I don't need. But I do think that is a really great solution. The malls are really big in New Jersey, and I'm sure I can make a lot of progress just walking around. So we are gonna go to the mall. Such a Jersey thing to do. <laughs> All right, so I just got done. I was about to say shopping, but I meant walking, but I kind of did a little bit of both. I did about 14,000 steps in two different malls and bought one pair of boots. <laughs> Since I didn't do all of my steps at the mall, I'm just basically walking around in a circle in my apartment to just try to get some more steps in. <laughs> I mean, whatever works. Good morning, it is day four, and if you're wondering why I'm laying on the floor is just because my back is hurting a little bit. I will say, this is a little more extraneous than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a little, I don't know, easier. It's a challenge, <laughs> that's for sure. Yesterday I did finish all of my 20,000 steps and then some, you'll probably see all the results at the end of this experiment. So if I don't show it, don't be like, oh, you didn't show every day. I'll show you at the end, calm down. Today I have to run some errands. It actually looks like it's a little bit nicer of a day than it was yesterday. So I might try to go to like a better park that's a little bit larger that I can probably get all my steps in. I kind of wandered into the woods on a trail. I don't really know where I am or where I'm going, but I'm just trying to follow this trail. It's kind of cool though. It's really desolate out here. I hope there's no wild animals. That's the only thing I'm worried about. It is day five and today I am walking on the Greenway in Middlesex County, New Jersey. It's an old railroad that was turned into like a walkway and it's really, really long. So it's a little bit of a, something different to do. It's really just like one straight line all the way down and you can go into different cities. It takes a little bit to get through. So uh, I'll be here for a while. Oh. <laughs> you may not know this, but I have a fear of bridges, especially like walkways like this. 
Look how far it is down. While I have this time, I wanted to talk about something that I've been dealing with. Uh, possibly the reason I haven't really been posting as much as I usually do. And that is because I have been suffering from anxiety. And I know some people are probably like, that's not a real thing. That's just in your head. Well, it is a real thing when it's happening to you. <laughs> and um, it, it's gotten to the point where I can't even drive in my car sometimes because I have such high anxiety and I'm hyperventilating. I have to like pull over and like try to calm myself down. And sometimes it feels like it's almost impossible. Well, I have been taking measures to kind of alleviate the anxiety as much as I can by removing stimulants. I'm no longer drinking coffee. I know that's like crazy, but that has helped a lot because coffee increases your cortisol levels. It sparks your fight or flight and it stays in your system a really long time, much longer than most people think it does. I also have ashwagandha I started taking, which has helped a lot, a lot. And also exercise and things like this. Exercise has really kind of helped me. Even just this week, walking as much as I did, I feel a little less stressed a little less anxious. It's been helping. <laughs> so I basically walked almost this entire thing and then back again. And I knocked out basically all of my steps for the day. So that's really good. I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. Good morning, it is day six. And I haven't started my steps today. Obviously I'm still in bed, I'm so tired. <laughs> That is an understatement. I will say that I have been having a bit of trouble the past few days going to sleep. I will fall asleep and then wake up and then I can't fall asleep again or something like that. And I think it has to do with trying to finish up my steps in the last hour walking around my apartment. I think that is just maybe not the best way. So I'm going to try to really do most of my steps in the beginning of the day so that I can just like rest my body and it doesn't feel so awake. But again, it is hard to do 20,000 steps in one sitting. I did it yesterday and um, my body was done. Maybe I should get up now and start walking around. <laughs> Today, we are walking in my kind of nature, the beach. I'm really taking you on a tour of New Jersey. Today is day seven and it is Easter. So I'm gonna be spending some time with my family. I'm trying to get my steps in as early as I can. I didn't wake up that early though, I will say. I slept in a little bit, I was tired. I'm extremely exhausted. It's not the easiest thing to do every day. I'm just doing some errands around the area that I would normally drive to. So I think that'll get me some good amount of steps in, hopefully. Another bridge. A little bit of a hill. It's kind of hard to get up. Okay, it is a weigh-in day and it's time to weigh and measure ourselves to see if this past seven days made any kind of change in our weight. Are we ready for these results? I lost a little over two pounds. I also lost a half an inch in my waist. And I'm not sure if visually you can tell, but I certainly feel a difference. Now we didn't lose a ton of weight in seven days, but two to three pounds is what is recommended that you should be losing per week.
week. So we're doing it a little bit more healthier. It's not fast weight loss, but you know, I'll take it. Keep in mind, we do have to equate for the muscle that I may have gained in my legs and in my thighs and my butt from walking so much. Muscle is more dense than fat, so that may have also had an effect on my results as well, which I don't mind because having nice toned legs and booty is uh, what I'm aiming for. <laughs> in any case, I am totally proud of myself that I was able to do 20,000 steps a day. I was almost walking 10 miles every single day. That is something that I never thought I could do. I also like the way that I felt every day. I was focused, I was awake, and most importantly, it helped to alleviate my anxiety. The only downfall to this that I've experienced, besides being totally exhausted, when I was finishing up my walking late at night, it did have an effect on my sleep where I was just too awake. I couldn't fall asleep. I do recommend that if you wanna do this, make sure that you are walking mostly in the beginning of your day. It really does help because I did that in the last couple of days and I slept like a baby. All in all, I'd say that this was super successful and I think it just helps me realize that no matter how busy we are, no matter how much we got going on in our lives, we can take a little time to put a little bit of physical activity into our our lives even if it's just walking anyway that's my whole video and i hope that you liked it and if you did make sure that you comment down below and also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out because i come out with them very randomly also make sure that you're following me on tiktok and instagram i'm doing a lot of fun diy stuff on there and i will see you next time bye i almost got ran over i what is that sound I didn't even realize there was someone sitting there. <laughs> he started looking at me like I was crazy. I'm out of breath because I'm walking. <laughs> Let's get real.